Hello guys, welcome to my channel Fast NJ24 TV. So in a report published by People's Gazette, it was alleged that the leaked audio tape between Bishop Oyediko and the presidential candidate of the Liberal Party, Mr. Peter Obi, was taken out of context. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates from this channel. React to this, Peter Obi's aide, Valentine Obian, released a statement via his Facebook handle as was published by the Kibu, where it revealed that the people behind the leaked audio tape had already set up a committee and are reviewing all the calls which have been made in the past three years and especially now to see if he mentioned entering government or anything that will make them prosecute him. According to the Kibu, OBA believes that the people behind the leaked audio tape are maliciously trying to manipulate the public against Mr. Peter Obi and the Labour Party, intending to discredit their integrity and professionalism. If I stated that such malicious acts should not be tolerated by any decent society and should be challenged with the full might of the law. The aide also noted that the leaked audio tape did not demonstrate the true nature of the call between Bishop Oyedeko and Peter Obi. He claims that the leaked audio tape was only a part of the conversation and was taken out of context. It is clear that Peter Obi and the Liberal Party have been targeted by those behind the leaked audio tape as they are determined to find something that could potentially be used against him. From what OBN said, it is evident that the people behind the leaked audio tape are attempted to prosecute him if he measures anything pertaining to an interim government in any of his calls. 